Hi everyone, okay, today we're going to talk about a feature um, that was actually in the original Loopy and just happens to not be in Loopy Pro and we're going to, going to go over how to actually recreate the same feature even though it doesn't exist in Loopy Pro. So let's have a look at the original feature. The original feature was called a Decay. Um, you held the loop, it brought up a menu and then when you scrolled uh, all the way around you seen an option down on the right here that said decay when you chose it you could then choose a percentage of which um, the previous loop reduces by and I'll put just put up to about 30% um, here so you can significantly hear it so what that allowed you to do it allowed you to record a loop and then the next loop would go on top of it and then that would the other one would decay by about 30 percent and every time you overdubbed the previous loop would decay by 33 37 percent or a percentage that you set and you could keep overdubbing without overloading the loop so let's go ahead and demonstrate that so i just go boom 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 So as you can see, the loop one, two, decreases three, as it four. goes around and around. So when I do the overdub again, one, two, three, four. Hello, one, two, three, everybody. Four. Hello, one, two, three, everybody. Four. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's going back to the It's going back to the so you can see what happens it literally goes into the background it keeps fading into the background but in loopy pro we don't have that feature so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at a workaround to add that feature back in okay here's loopy pro okay so uh, what we're going to do here I've set up three different loops one is for a beat one's for the first layer and one's for the second layer okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to demonstrate them working and then i'll show you how you can set this up yourself okay so first thing we do is we'll record a beat which i'm just going to mouth okay so we go Okay, so that's the beat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my first layer and then I'm going to use the second layer for overdubbing and etc, etc, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Boom, 
okay so there you go so this setup emulates the same setup as in loopy pro it gives you that decay so as you can see what i've set up is a set up the beat which continuously goes keeps you in time and be switching between the two layers allows you to um record and it will decay between them so how is it done okay so here's the reveal right so what you need to have done is a couple of things you need to have set up um first of all for your beat i'm miking it in so i'm going through the mic and i'm sending that directly to the pink okay so then what you have is you've got your orange and uh that other color which is uh, blue right so um you have these two of them and then you set them up in a bank so you got bank a and bank b right um so you set them up as you can see uh the blue color from bank a blue color for bank b yeah and then what you do is you set up a send so for the orange one you're going to send to bank a okay as you can see here i have it set up now you might have to do a little bit of tweaking and then for uh, the other color which is blue i've set up for bank for bus b okay so when you look up here you see you have uh, that here right now generally about two o'clock on the dial i find that works best so what you're doing basically is you're sending um each of them into the bus and then in the bus it's it's recording into the opposite color a lower volume and then you just switch between the two layers as i've just shown you and it'll casually just lower the level so that the next loop is higher and the previous loop it gets lower and then the automation is it deletes the previous loop i've just seen now, once you've set it up in the mixer, um, there is two other things you need to do. You need to go into layer one and layer two. Um, you need to go into their properties and then set up a couple of settings. You can swipe up and you'll get this one here and then you can go in and edit it that way. You know, um, you can see you have your properties and when you scroll up, you're going to see follow actions right so follow actions you set it to clear clip two after it's finished recording okay then on this one here which is clip two layer two same thing applies you scroll down and on clip two you tell it to clear clip one right and that's how it works so if we get rid of the mixer you got your clips boom 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 now we go ahead and do layer one and two and just do a little boom musical boom boom tree boom 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 So that's how you get back overdub decay into loopy pro hope you enjoyed this guys if you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe like and chill thanks again have a good one